15 facts about bearded dragons, like me Larry the Lost. Number 1. Bearded dragons are named for the beard we all has. We puff it up when mads, it gets big. This is me flexing my awesome beard when first found. I was scared of my new human. My beard may get a bit puffy while human deals with my sheds. Human has to help me as my shed gets stuck on my large spikes. Number 2. Bearded dragon spikes are not as sharp as they looks. They are made of my skin. Spikes to get tough when I tense up like cat does to make self look bigger. Spikes won't puncture skin or make human bleed, just uncomfortable to hold if I'm mad. They help me look big when scared or startled. If we dragons upsets we tense and our spikes gets harder and go in different direction like hedgehogs. The way you can see I am not as ticked off as I appear, as human helps with super sensitive at shed, cause my spikes are not all hards and I has relaxed skins around my tummy. It just so so itchy, to even touch this shed, so this becomes a dance with human that I try to lick tweezers out of human's hand and kick when's tickled. Under my crown of thorns and neck is most sensitive parts of body in many ways besides my underbelly so it tickles. Number 3. I also learn by licking stuffs. So I wants to know what is tickle my skin by licking it, so I try licks tweezers. I has an organ in my mouth that makes me smells by licking. It called Jacobson's organ. Snakes has one, it why snakes lick air. It why I has tongue out to smell what going on. I know woman not hurt me but tickle so bad, I wants to know if I can's eat the things causing tickle. That brings us to number four. Unlike some lizards and reptiles, it is okay to help bearded dragons shed, it no hurt us. You should wait for it to be loose, but we gets it so stuck it is okay, and it not all shed at once it shed different spots at different times. When human founds me I had several layers of shed stuck to my head. This is why human helps me now with my head spike sheds. Snakes do it all at once, we do in patches. Number 5. Boy bearded dragons can grow to around 24 inches long. Girl dragons get around 20 inches, which I am actually a girl dragon but we didn't know that fun facts for a while. I'm missing part of tail, one inch broke off after I was found. And I measure 19 inches, but still growing sums. Number 6. Bearded dragons are natives to Australia. All the cool looking animals comes from Australia he he he. Number 7. In the wild, bearded dragons live to 5 to 8 years. With humans we can live 8 to 16 years if taken care of rights. Not much to say else on this fact, just that if you want you own Larry, we are not short term friend, you must be prepared to has a dragon for as long as you have a dogs or cats. Number 8. Larry Dragons also has good eyeballs and special sight. We see very good in all colors like human, yes movement will attract us to see better, but we good at seeing far away in clothes. We also has extra eyeball almost. Top of head is a third eye, dat is a sensor for light. We can tell if bird hovering over to eat us, and we tell betters if night time soon better, so we can go sleeps. It hard to sneak up on us cause light shifts happens and so we can see behind or above us just a tiny bit with our extra eyeballs. It is a myth that it is sensitive to touch, we loves head touches and head pats, it wants hurt us to has hat on or cute costume but I just hates it and mock human for doing such silly stuffs. Number 9. Bearded dragons also has cool mate time trick. Once we mate we do not has to mate again to lay fertile egg. We keep the, um, how do I say polite way? We hold on to the boy stuff in us all mate season up to a year. I hopes dat was not too icky to explains. So we can lays up to 40 eggs every clutch and has about 3 or 4 clutches every 2 months. Dat is a lot of baby dragon. In wild we has lots of eggs cause many baby get eaten. With humans raising dragons, more survive. But lots do unfortunately dies cause humans don't know how to take cares of otter larry dragons. That brings us to caring for a larry. Number 10. Bearded dragons must has access to lights or direct non-filtered suns. Every day we has to has lights turned on and off, or be in non-glass cage with direct outsides light. No direct sun in glass or you cooked a dragon for dinners. Ideal to keep us insides with bulb to ensure we okay. Do not leave us with bulb on all night, that is no good. 
We need to has a night time to sleep right or we get stressed. If you do not has a good light timer switch you humans has to do the light every day. We need heat light and UVB light and area that can be at 100 degrees Fahrenheit during day, but at nights need to be around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Or 37 Celsius day times, 24 Celsius night times. Number 11. Don't leave us water in our homes and we do not drink water every day like you dogs or cats. If you offers us water we may drink but mostly will not drink. Instead spray our foot or spray our head with water twice a day. We drinks a bits from spray as it goes from flat head into mouth. Leaving waters in our home is bad idea, makes it humid, can gives us lung problems. We need dry. We gets water from veggies and fruits as well. That's another subject. Number 12. We are omnivores. We eats veggies and meats. I like super worms mostly. I eat berry and worm the best. Human mads at me cause hearts to get me to eat my greens. I suppose to eat green stuffs. I know likes it. Dear is stuff on computer dat says we not picky eaters. Human says, no we can very picky, every dragon is different. Human has to trick me into eating green stuff. Also you can't just give us any green stuff. Please always check online for what we can eat and cannot eat. Like iceberg lettuce is bad for Larry, but romaine is good. I know it confusing. Iceberg has too much waters in it, makes us poop our brains out. We need to not keep fuds in our home as well. No rot fud, fud rot, and you Larry will get sick, and yet again, poopy brains out. Numbers 13. Bearded dragons are good swimmers. We inflate like balloon. We float. We use tail to swim super good. We also need bath once every two weeks if not more. Towel dryens lets us bask in lamps or suns after bath. It make us happy. No soap, use just cleans waters. Soap not good, dry us out. We use this bath's time to drink if we need drink. No drink soap. That will hurt guts, this makes bad potty time and make sick. Bring new meaning to bubble butts. Number 14. Bearded dragons love our good humans. The bonus of a Larry bearded dragon is that we actually can love you humans if you good to dragon. We has a small frontal lobe. So we has emotions unlike a lot of snakes. We remember you, we want cuddles, we want pets, we want to even play tug of war sometimes. Like example is, yes, this shed is making me me a bit upset, but I no bite human, I just lick or kick when tickle too much. As human works on it I learn stat human trying to helps with itch, and I let them do it more and more. My stupid shit gets very stucks, so it feel good to get offs. We do not show we loves our human with mama ways, like cat or dog. We show love subtle like. I tilt my head when I want pets or comforts, you own Larry will sit stills on you lap when happy with you, we will cuddles with you some, and like human's warm body. But I will sit on my human with no run away and just hangs out with them for long, long time, cause my human is good human to Larry. I will lick human and follow human around. I love my human. Not showing it right now as much cause this shed is so bothering me. Happy dragons also will waves when being pets, or to say hellos when you come to give fuds. Take time to learn you bearded dragon love language, we all can be unique. Number 15. We know bite our human. We can bite you hard. But evens now I not happy cause shed itchy but I gets worm for puttings up with dis, and not bite. I do scare human making human jump, he he he, cause I can bite, but I would sooner bite a rock, cause I treat it good. Just make sure to treat you dragon with lots of respect if you human decides to get ones, it is rare, if we do, we as reason or it was accidents most of time, like trying to eat worm and bite finger or feeder tweezers. We good with small humans cause we rarely bites. When young's lizard we may snaps a few times, but as adult, we like human, no bite. If in danger we bite and our bite will break skins, we can lose teeth and bite, but will grow teeth back, we can shed old teeth like skin shed. So if human get bite by a calm dragon, maybe dat human not so nice. Many things need to be just right to raise you own Larry. It is said if you not a good parent type person, then do not get a bearded dragon, we need lots of care, we need lots of attentions, we need lots of the right fuds. 
Please do not ever get a dragon and Dinky can just leave us in tank and toss fuds at us in a water dish. That will lead to a dead Larry Lizard. Thank you humans for watching me get sheds off and be groompies about it. Please sub for more Larry, we want this channel to grow. Support links in description to help buy me more stuffs to play with and fuds to eat. Okay I love you bye bye.